This paper introduces a technique for performance animation that uses video cameras and a small set of retro-reflective markers. A system like this is low cost, easy to use, and might someday be practical for home use. At runtime, the system automatically learns a series of low-dimensional local models from a set of selected motion capture examples. These local models are then used to accurately reconstruct the motion of the user as a full-body animation. We demonstrate the power and flexibility of this approach by having a user control six different behaviors in real time without significant latency. This video shows a user controlling a kendo movement. A user controlling a walking motion. The same motion at half speed. A user controlling a running motion at half speed. A user controlling a jumping motion, the same motion at half speed. A user controlling a hopping motion, at half speed. Our approach can also create a transition from one motion to another motion. This video shows a transition from walking to running. a transition from walking to jumping. Our system can also synthesize motions in which the user is not directly facing the camera. This video shows a user following an S-curve. Our approach is robust to the kinematics of the user. This video shows the boxing animation controlled by a user who is not in the database. We also tested our system on different users for locomotion. The following videos show the results of three users controlling walking motion. The following videos show the results of three users controlling running motion. These videos show the results of three users controlling jumping motions. These videos show the results of two users controlling a hopping motion. We assess the quality of the synthesized motion by leaving out one sequence of motion captured data from the database and using the sequence for testing. The 3D trajectories from the control markers are then input to our online motion synthesis system. The side-by-side -side comparison between the reconstructed kendo motion and the ground truth kendo motion. We also compare the motion created from the Vicon system using the full marker set and the motion reconstructed from the two camera system. 